it's King Now and welcome to my review of Onward. Now, Onward is a film, it's a Disney Pixar film. You don't know what Disney Pixar films are? They're films like The Incredibles, Toy Story, Monsters Inc., Cars, and so much more. And because this film is directed by Dave Scalon and stars Tom Holland, Chris Pratt, Julia Louise Dreyfus, and Octavia Spencer. And basically, this film is about a family of elves, and basically they live in this land where magic used to exist, but does not exist anymore. Uh, not until they find it. Basically, right, it's um, Tom Holland's Tom Holland's character, 16th birthday, and on his 16th birthday, his dad has left a gift for him and his brother. And basically, the gift is a staff, and the staff, if he does this trick, brings his dad back. But halfway through bringing his dad back, the trick goes wrong, and they only bring half of his dad back. So the whole film is them trying to find this gem, which will bring his whole the whole of that back so the, the boys, the brothers, can see them for one last time before he has to go away. And the, the gem only brings the, the, the father back for a day. And um, so the boys go on these adventures trying to find the gem, but they don't tell the mum, and the mum ends up going following them, and you meet other characters in the way, for example, Octavia Spencer's character. And it's... Um, I'm just going to say this now. Is not on the same level as other Pixar films, such as Incredibles, which I think is bloody fantastic, by the way, and films like Toy Story, which really punch it at the heart and really, like, are really emotional. Saying that, I think this film is incredibly delightful and really emotional. Um, I think my biggest problem with the film, I'm going to jump straight in, my biggest problem with the film is... The lack of originality. Basically, I, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but Pixar kind of have a formula. You know, introduce a character, bring it to, send them on some wild adventure when they're off, often with a good friend. Like, off, off, obviously, you have Sully and Mark Wazowski and Monsters Inc. And then you have uh, Buzz and Woody and Toy Story. And now um, it's these two characters. I forgot the names. But these two characters in Onward, and they, and they go on this wild adventure, and at the end of the adventure, there's some heart, where basically two characters got along so well that they're inseparable now. And, um, yeah, I think the film is delightful. But, my, yeah, my problem is the, the formula thing. Basically, they all follow this formula now, where, you know, you follow that adventure, and then you get to that really emotional punch. So I was kind of expecting an emotional punch at the end. That's not to say that it wasn't disappointing. I think the emotional punch is fantastic in this film. But I was kind of expecting, I was just a bit like, it's going to be really emotional at the end, I'm not prepared. I think, yeah, I just think that's my biggest problem in the film, the lack of originality. You may watch the film and you may disagree with me whilst you're watching it, but then looking back on it, I mean, all the magic stuff's great. They have like a pet dragon who acts quite a lot like a dog, and it's funny. I know that's original. I'm not saying it's not completely original. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying some, if you look at the overall plot, it's just not original. It's not new or something. Saying that, it still worked very well for me. Everything in this work, in everything in this film, everything in this world in the film, is incredibly thought through. Everything has heart. The whole film has heart because the center of the whole film is the relationship between these two brothers, which is so well played. Voice act, voice cast way, but the voice I can't pronounce a bloody word now. Voice cast way through Chris Pratt. And Tom Holland, they're so good in this film. Like, as voice cast. And I know they were previously together in Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. Or, yeah, and Endgame. And um, it, they're so delightful to watch in this film. Their, their voice acting, like, brings the whole story to life. You also get some really emotional parts. Like, the ending. I knew it was going to be emotional. Like I said, the whole thing about the Pixar formula. But I didn't realise it would be that emotional. And I'm not going to go into spoilers, but... Um, if you think, literally, that they just bring the dad back, think again. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Basically, the film is very, very good. Um, I think, yeah, like I said, my biggest problem is just the lack of originality. The voice hacks is really good. There's some really funny moments between Chris Pratt, Chris Pratt's character and Tom Holland's character. By the way, Chris Pratt's character, he was unnoticeable in this film. Like, if, if I didn't know Chris Pratt was voicing this character, I, I, I wouldn't have guessed it. I honestly wouldn't have guessed it. And I'm a massive fan of Chris Pratt, by the way. I loved him in Guardians of the Galaxy. I loved him in Jurassic World. And I'm a big fan of Tom Holland. I have loved him as Spider-Man. And uh, I saw him in something else. Oh, Heart of the Sea was very good in that. So I was really happy to see them 
you know, they bounce off each other like two ping pong balls. It's so good in this film. Julie Louise Dreyfus, you really feel like she's a mom character just trying to get the song back. I know it's, I, like I said, I know it's only voice acting, but think about it. Eddie Murphy, who played Donkey in Shrek, actually got nominate, nominated for Best Supporting Actor because of his voice acting in that film. Like, I'm not saying the voice acting is as good as Eddie Murphy in Shrek. Eddie Murphy in Shrek is awesome, it's Donkey. But... You know, when when you say voice acting, you get you might dismiss, dismiss it and go, oh, it's only voice acting. You have to be in a booth for what five hours, record a few lines, and you'll all be in the film. It's not that simple. Like I remember Tom Hanks talking about talking about voice and what do you know? It's just not that simple. And I really do think that the the voice acting brings the characters to life, and that is so well done in the film. Octavia, Octavia Spencer also is unrecognizable, has an unrecognizable voice in the film. It all really seems. Really interesting. I'd really interest in this world as well, because and, and like that's what Pixar's so good at creating these worlds that are so relatable yet so different. Look at Monsters Inc. Look at The Incredibles. I know Incredibles is a real world, but it's so different at the same time, like a superhero family. And this is no different. An L family that acts exactly the same as our family. It, in so many ways, it's relatable. In so many ways, it's different. I just think it's all a really delightful film. And I'm gonna say this, and I'm surprised I'm gonna say this. I'd watch it again, and I have memories of Pixar films. I have fond memories of Pixar films, but I don't have many solid memories of Pixar films because I watched them so long ago. Like I love Incredibles. I've watched Incredibles time and time again. That is one of my all-time favorite films, to be honest. The Toy Story, the Toy Story franchise, I think is great, but. I just don't watch them as much as other films. Like, I think so many other films are more compelling than in real life. Saying that, I think I massively underestimated this film. It is so delightful. Um, there's some moments when you just like the character comes up to a problem and they're just like, you know how to resolve this? Magic! And it's just a bit like, I <sighs> can't think of another way to resolve it that, you know, it's a bit more relatable. But saying that, though, you can do that in any of the films. So it's actually quite a clever narrative technique for this film. All in all, I'm going to say that pick, the, um, Disney Pixar's Onward is a delightful film with an emotional heart and emotional punch that really kicks in at the end. I was almost in tears. And I haven't had that for a while in the film. So, all in all, I think Onward is a really nice film. And I am going to give... I'm, I'm surprised I'm going to say this. I'm actually going to give Onward an 8 out of 10. That is like the 5th 8 out of 10 I've give, given lately. I've given so much 8 out of 10 lately. I'm t I'd love to be mean to a film. Go watch my Doolittle review or go watch my review of Sonic. But I, I just can't. Because it's so, it's so hard lately. I just keep seeing good films. I've got TV series, you know. Anyway guys, um, yeah. It's an 8 out of 10 for me. Almost forgot to mention this, but side note, I also saw the uh, Simpson, the new Simpsons short film that was played before us because now Simpsons is owned by Disney and all. And just to let you guys know, I am a huge, huge fan of the Simpsons. I used to watch them all the time as a kid. I still watch them now. Like I've still got some of them on DVD. So I just wanted to say the short film is delightful. Honestly, it's a really delightful film and it really gets you in the mood for the film as well. It's a uh, it's really delightful film, it's really nice, the music's really good in it. You see the story of Maggie going on a play day with someone, it's very it's very nicely done. It's also quite comedic at the end. Like you think, Oh, they're never gonna see each other again. Oh wait, no, they definitely are <laughs> And it's very good because it just it's just very good and it gets you in the mood for the film. And um, I'm a massive fan of The Simpsons. And all I'm going to say about The Simpsons short film, I was not disappointed. And I'm happy that I got to see it before Onward. Anyway, guys, what did you think of the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Or did you just not watch it? And if not, why not? Please do comment below and let me know your thoughts. Anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching. If you haven't gone and check out this film, go check out this film. Having, and having a really fun time. And have a, it's, it's just a really, really fun film. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> there's nothing bad to say about this film. Honestly, it's just so emotional at the end. I was almost crying. So anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of the film in the comments below. And as always, guys, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and check back to see more. See you guys again soon. Bye.